Hey everyone, I am Jared Hall from Entertainment Weekly. We are coming to you live on Facebook from Comic-Con. And joining me now, the one, the only, Mr. Kevin Smith. Good Thank morning. you so much How for being here. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thanks. This How is my you? first of the day. You're but, my, my morning rise. Likewise, so. likewise. Great. Well, Make glad happen. we can be each other's first today. Yes. Anyway, yeah. Yes. Uh, you guys, be sure to uh, submit your questions because uh, we will be asking this guy some. I got to start. How many Comic-Cons is this for you? My first, uh, I mean, they're for official San Diego mm. Comic Con, International Comic Con. Right. There's a lot of cons. Like, there say, are. we're Comic Cons, but there's right. only one Comic Con. I've been coming to Comic Con since 1995. First time I came here, we showed Mall Rats uh, before it came out at Horton Plaza. Wow. Uh, and mm. I'd learn, I'd, you know, I'd known about the con my whole mm -hmm. life because I was a fan of the genre sure. stuff and comic books. And so you'd read about it in Fangoria, mm -hmm. you read about it in Starlog, you read about it in the back of your comic books and stuff. But I lived in Jersey. So there was never any chance mm. that I was going to be New York there. Comic Con was not a thing yet. No, no. my lord. You can mm -hmm. go to a comic book show. You would mm -hmm. go to like a local Hilton or something like that. Or mm. in New York, you would go to the Penta Hotel and they would have like a couple ballrooms to have a comic book <laughs> show. But nothing like this. No. And you would see images of it like at the end of Comic Con season, like in comics and stuff in the 80s. And it just looked amazing. It was like Mecca for a fan of the genre. Sure. Like I want to go there at least once in my life <laughs> before I leave this world. So in 95, they took us there with, with Mallrats Universal. Mm. And I got to go and walk the floor for the first time and soak it up. And we had a panel. So it, we, they put us in a small room, one of those small rooms in the, in the con center. And this was about a year after Clerks had come out. So Clerks had went to video. Mm. So the room packed up. And then after the con, the people who were organizing were like, who are you? And I was like, <laughs> I am Silent Bob. And so the next year, the room got bigger. And then the room got bigger after that, and then eventually they moved me into Hall H. Yeah. yeah. Well, and and you've become like so integral to to what happens here. You're kind of synonymous with you know, if, if Kevin Hall, uh, if Kevin Smith does not have his Hall H presentation, it's not a Comic Con. I, I didn't do one last year, and, I, and people were <laughs> like, "Did you die?" And I was like, "No." And then I almost no, died months almost later. No, almost a few <laughs> months later. Right, right, exactly. On that topic, how yes. are you feeling? So fantastic. Good. Yeah, the best, the cure for you know the middle age blues is to have a heart attack. Oh. Uh, Boy, it well, was amazing. I it, don't it, know it, if you want to. Yeah. It, it did. It saved my life. Like, yeah. honestly, I, after the heart attack, not much changed about me uh, professionally speaking. I was mm -hmm. like, I still do the same stupid shit. But the personally, that was where, you know, I was leaving the hospital. I was only there for like 48 hours, less than 48 hours. It's amazing. Yeah, they saved my life. It was crazy. My doctor, Dr. Leidenheim, was like, how do you feel? I was like, I feel great, man. I can't wait to go home. I feel great. He goes, that's bad. I said, why is that bad? Oh. And he's like, because... You know, time was, somebody had a heart attack, we'd crack their chest open, mm -hmm, saw their right. ribs, open their heart, and they would have to convalesce for months. They'd be in sure. the hospital two, sure. three months, mm -hmm. and they knew they went through something. Right. He's going, but look at you, you're out in like 48 mm -hmm. hours, less than 48 hours. Like, the, a lot of people leave here and go, that was easy, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. don't think about changing their lives, and then if I'm lucky, I see them again, but if I'm unlucky, I'll never see them again because they drop dead. Mm. So he's like, it's up to you, man. You leave here, you feel good. The way to never come back here is to you know, think about changing your habits. So I went vegan. Used to be very happy, now I'm fucking vegan. <laughs> and uh, it's, I've been that for well, five man. months now, but it's, also, it's not been bad. What do you miss most? I would miss bacon. I've smelled bacon as mm. I was coming up in the elevator, and I, I, that didn't really do it for me. Uh, what do I miss the most so far? I don't miss any of the meats. I'm not like, oh, it's not like I see animals. I'm like, I'll bite the shit out of you. Like, mm. I don't miss eating meat. Um, I used to drink, this is going to sound gross, two gallons of milk a day. Might be why I had a heart attack. Um, oh. So I, you'd dairy think lover. I missed that. Yeah, yeah, I was a big dairy mm. lover, man. Uh, I, I, you'd think I missed that, but I think I've had enough milk to last a lifetime. <laughs> and the cheese variant as mm. well. Like, I'm okay. I've had it all. Honestly, like... You get to a place where you're like, I've I've literally had it all. I felt like a Rolling Stone, like sure, I've had yeah, it all, but yeah. only in food. Like <laughs> right. I put anything I could into my body and yeah. stuff. Now I'm okay to just put plant based stuff. Yeah, well there you go. Uh, we do have a, uh, a fan question here coming through on Facebook from uh, Coco Lozano. What's your favorite San Diego Comic Con memory so far? Uh, well, let me tell you, Coco, in uh, 23 years of coming to the con, there are a bunch, but uh, there was one I can't tell you the exact. Year. I'll give you two. Um, one year, and this was within the last, like, let's say five years, uh, I pulled up to the con to do the Hall H show. Mm -hmm. And when I got off to go through security, uh, Stan Lee himself oh. was sitting there. And I've, you know, I've known Stan. He was in Mall Rats and stuff. Yep. I've known him for years now. Mm -hmm. 
But, you know, as I got off the train, he was like, hey, spider friend. I was like, hey, man, look at you. And we chit-chat and stuff. And then I went That's forward. a pretty good Stan Lee it is, impression, by the way. You know him. So uh, I th- I th- me and Jason Mewes, he was with me. Mm. We walked away. Jason's always sad because he's always like, hey, Kevin. And he never remembers Jason. <laughs> oh. So Jason goes, isn't that weird, dude? He's like, we came here, like, years ago. And, like, now you show up and, like, Stan Lee says hi to you and stuff mm. like that. I was like, well, we did work with him. But that was a mm. really kind of nice yeah. memory that he encapsulated for me, Jason, from yeah. his perspective. Mm. Otherwise, it would have just been like, oh, I saw sure. Stan. And then been the just year, another moment. Another yeah. moment, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, one year, I was backstage at Hall H getting ready to go do my thing, and Iron Man panel was finishing, a Marvel panel. That and was I, 2007, probably. And this Teasing was, for the 2008 release? Yes. Yeah. So it yeah. hadn't come out yet, right. and it was Favs and... Uh, uh, Robert Downey Richard, Jr. Yeah. and who else was Maybe there? Maybe Gwyneth. Say Gwyneth. I think yeah. Gwyneth was there yeah. as well. So her, I know a little bit from back in the day because she used to date Affleck and stuff. So right. I was like, hey. Mm-hmm. But I never met Robert Downey Jr. at all. But I've always loved him. He's an uh-huh. amazing, amazing actor, right? And so I'm standing. This is when I was a cigarette smoker. So I'm trying to be cool kids, smoke mm-hmm. cigarettes on the dock <laughs> and shit. And he's a pretty healthy, clean living individual and stuff. Mm-hmm. Very. So I'm standing off to the side smoking a cigarette, trying to be, you know, fucking not like, oh my God, it's Robert mm-hmm. Downey Jr. Mm-hmm. And he comes over, like he excuses himself from the conversation, smokes over, and he goes like, hey man, I'm Robert. I always wanted to say hi. And I, he could have put anything he wanted in, in my mouth at that point. Because I was like, oh my God, you did you literally come <laughs> over here just to say hi to me? Yeah. And it was so touching, man. Mm. I still remember that. That's uh, cool. It's a big deal. And also, there's one more. Can I give you one yeah, more? Yeah, do it. It's a weird one, but and it won't matter to anybody else. But you know, uh, uh, Judd Apatow's wife, Leslie. Yeah, Leslie, Leslie Mann. Mann. Mm-hmm. Wonderful actress. So funny. I, was, I did a panel once at Hall H, and I was on a panel with... Apatow, and it was mm. like when Apatow was like just blown up huge, like mm-hmm. his after knocked out, knocked and up, stuff yep. like mm-hmm. that. So he's on the ascension, I'm definitely on the descension oh. and shit. It was a few years before Tusk, but things were already okay. on their way right. downhill. So I'm sitting next to him and stuff, and we're doing a panel and we're being funny and shit. And after the panel, it's so weird, she probably won't remember it, but I like it meant the world to me. We're coming off stage, and she was backstage, and she goes, You're really funny. Like, in a way that <laughs> like was, was like, I always thought you were a an asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, if, if, but to have somebody who's like married to a funny person be like, yeah. Hey, you're funny, that right. that felt yeah. really kind of sweet. That was a highlight of Comic Con for me. Because she's surrounded by comedy all the time. Yes. Uh, question, another fan question Mallory Snyder, is there going to be another Clerks movie? There, I, I, I tried like mad to make mm-hmm. another Clerks movie. Uh, unfortunately, the one of the people doesn't want to return. For the cast and Uh-oh. stuff. So yeah, and I can't do it without that cat. He's mm. integral. So that went away. But I am working on something of a Clerks three right now. Uh, it's called Hollyweed. It's a TV yes. show that's literally Clerks, but in a weed store. And I play one of the guys. You can go to rivettv.com and watch the entire pilot. Right. And if people like it, then they could buy pre-buy episodes of the next season. That finances the season, and we get to go make six more. So I've Very written, like, interesting, cold business model. The way Rivet TV, this all, like, yeah. this was a pilot I shot two and a half years ago. And Crazy. like many in this business, there 100% of the pilots, of the 100% of the pilots that are shot, if you're lucky or you see 5%, mm. maybe, like a lot of them just wind up on somebody's desk. My friend Ralph Garman, who I do Hollywood Babylon mm. with, he's been in a lot of pilots. He goes, he likes to say, I've... Killed more pilots than the Red Baron. <laughs> so, like, it's there's a thing you can make a pilot could go nowhere, and you put yeah. your heart and soul into it, and nothing happens. So, Rivet TV came along and took this pilot we made two and a half years ago that people were like, nah, it's okay, we're fine. Yeah, we have yeah. a dispensary show already, and mm-hmm. gave it this second chance if this works out. So, hopefully, people get behind it. That's as close as I'll probably get to Cler- Clerks 3 at the moment. Ah, there you go. Uh, but we there are... is a Jane Silent Bob reboot. Yes. We're making a movie. All right, it is happening. All yes. right, cool. Good to know. Uh, we're about to wrap here, but I want to do a rapid fire with you really fast. Uh, you are like a Batman fan number one. Okay. I'm going to give you a quote from one of the theatrical releases. You have to tell me uh, the actor or the movie, whichever works better for you. Okay. Cool. Okay. The bat signal is not a beeper. Um, the bat signal is not a beeper. Val Kilmer. Nailed it. Batman, All right. Batman, uh, Batman and forever. forever. Yep. Uh, Merry Christmas, Alfred, and goodwill toward men and women. Uh, the delivery was Merry Christmas, Alfred. Goodwill toward men and women. That would be Batman Returns. Yeah, Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton. There you go. You break it, you buy it. I know. Sorry, that's a little tough. And a Batman said this. A Batman said this. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna give me a second. Watch me work through this. You want me process. to give you another one from that same actor? No, no. Let okay. me see if I can. What you? Okay. What is it? One more time. Uh, you break it, you buy it. 
Do animated Batmans count? Mm, no, it's live Fair action. Fair enough, so these are live actions. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to eliminate. Oh, George Clooney, Batman and Robin. What? The... Yes. Yes. Wow. I had to dig deep because that one I buried. I suppressed wow. like a horrible childhood memory. Wow, good. But yes, yes. Nice. Okay. Uh, I heard his voice. I just dug. You break Maybe one more here. I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. Oh, of course. That's that's Christian Bale in uh, Batman Begins. I won't kill you. But I don't have to save you. Where the trigger? And then that the was exactly it. Up. That was exactly it. Yeah. Nailed it. Five for five on that. Congratulations. That. I, and um, I do host a show called Fat Man on Batman. So see, if I failed go. any one of those, yeah. people could stop listening. Well, you won the iPad. No, okay. Yeah! We, have to, we have to keep that. Uh, oh, we need fuck. it for more interviews. Uh, thank you so much for Thanks stopping Thanks for having me. Really man. The first pleasure. one of the day. Yeah. Well, this set the tone. Now the bar is here and everybody's good. got to get up to that at least. All right. Well, check back in with me later and let me know how they do. All right. Thanks so much. Enjoy your Comic Con. Thanks for having me. And thank you guys for watching.